Why hello, it's your gal Dimply Bean back at it again with some more content. After last week's fiasco with making those pancakes, I wanted to go back to my original creative passion this week, and that is special effects makeup. As you know, today is the first day of spring, so whilst I'm here preparing for the new season, I decided to stick some flowers to myself because heck, that's the most springtime thing you can ever do, right? So let's get into it. Firstly, in order to get my bald cap as snug as a bug on my head, I needed to flatten my hair with gaff quat. Now, this is a goopy goop that flattens the hair so when you apply bald caps there's less bumps and lumps and just things that just don't look right now as you can see my bald cap just isn't quite great and that's because I made it myself in fact this was my first attempt at making bald caps I made it too small the the edges aren't great but it works for this look and hey I'm semi proud of myself for making it too so I'm using it maybe one day I'll become a pro and release a video on how to make bald caps who knows let's take it one step at a time with my trusty Prosade, I'm sticking this boy down to my face. Using the same liquid latex I used to make the cap, I'm going to dab this around the edges to further flatten against the skin. Now, the thing that makes me go from looking a little odd to looking really odd is these black sclera lenses. Apologies to anyone that's squeamish, but here is a close-up of me putting them in. Now to the regular makeup part of this look, starting with your standard base makeup. I'm taking Ordinary's High Adherence Silicone Primer. <laughs> and thoroughly applying it to my skin. Then I'm going in with my X1 Invisiwear Liquid Foundation. Doesn't matter which shade I'm wearing because you should all just pick whatever shade you think matches your skin tone. And I'm dabbing this around using my brand new beauty blenders. I recently got them off Amazon and no joke, they are the best ones I've ever used because makeup just seems to wash out of them. I'll stick a link down in the description as well for any of you that are interested. Now I'm using my e.l.f. 60 Dower Camo Concealer in around two or three shades lighter than my skin tone and just applying this in an upwards motion under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose and on my jawline and blending it out using my trusty beauty blender. Now that we're done with the liquid part, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Translucent HD Setting Powder and apply it all over my face using a lovely fluffy brush. Taking my Colourpop She's a Rainbow palette, I'm taking the shade Moonlight and I'm applying this to the inner corners of my eye using a fluffy eyeshadow brush. Next I'm using the shade Looking Fresh and applying this down my cheek. I'm then using shades Worth It and Big Sugar and using my blush brush and I'm just going to fluff this over my cheekbones, the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow. Topping the colours, I'm applying the shade Starburst from my Anastasia Beverly Hills Sugar Glow Kit Highlight Palette over the same areas that I applied the pink tones as well as my inner eye corners. Finishing up the eye makeup, I'm just curling my lashes, applying some mascara and sticking on some fluttery falsies. Next, I'm taking my Stila Lip Glaze in Gleam, weird name, and applying it to my lips, obviously. On to the final step that turns this look from regular to springtime, the flowers. Now, I tried researching this flower to find out the name, but I don't know much about flowers. The closest I found was blue delfin delf delphiniums. Whatever they are, I gently stuck them onto my face using some Prosade. And there we have it, the final look. As always, if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to hit that like button. If you'd like to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. Tap the bell if you'd like to stay even more up to date and comment if you're feeling chatty. I'm Dimply Bean and I will see you all next Saturday. Bye!